So today's What What Wednesday question is, so what did your family think when you told them you were selling your house, moving into an RV, taking their grandkid, and hitting the road? <laughs> <laughs> When we first uh, dropped this bomb, <laughs> I guess, on a, on family and friends, um, they were a little concerned. They voiced a few concerns to us. Maybe it did come off a little spontaneous to them, but we had put a lot of thought and research into what we were doing, and we were really confident in our decision. I think their main concern was time away, time away from us and from our daughter, Hensley. Um, and that's a legitimate concern, I, I would have to admit. That's why we do try to come back often, um, because it's we don't want to spend a year away from family or keep her away from family. This is a, a, a good time for her to be seeing grandparents and cousins and and our families are close, both sides of them, and then we even do stuff, our families together, because we live in such a close area. I mean, she's like five, six minutes down the road from where <laughs> I grew up, so. I've read horror stories online of how people reacted to, you know, when they went on the road and they told their friends and family. It was it definitely wasn't like as bad as maybe some stuff you could read. <laughs> <laughs> My mom just called us, she just, thought we were being hippies is what <laughs> hippies gypsies yeah yeah we got a lot of that and you know when we were telling our our friends and family about what we were doing there were some concerns about the money side of things how are you going to make money um, you do know you're buying something that goes down in value like a rock versus staying in your house which you know typically at least goes up in value there's concerns about safety i mean there was and these are the same concerns that we had and you've probably had i think over time They've slowly come around um, <laughs> to uh, being convinced this was a, a good plan for our family. I think that was why it was good we, we took that first year or two. Mm -hmm. It was not so much of a shock. It was over time they slowly started uh, seeing our change. One of the great parts of this is actually our families have gotten to um, go camping with us, go on trips with us. Um, we've got to spend more time with them in a camping environment, um, and it's been really fun. It's been actually very bonding for not just our family, but for our immediate families as well. Like when we lived in town with our families, you would kind of just sprinkle in time with families here and there. But they go on a trip with us, you really get to just, I guess, immerse yourselves. Um, I don't know. There's something different about being on a trip together than just your usual hanging out in town thing too so I think it's maybe more quality over quantity maybe I don't know. it's like a big slumber party <laughs> sure <laughs> an adult sleepover Nathan's parents um, actually just bought a travel trailer to do some camping with us and then with uh, with their family so I think that's great I, I think they've kind of seen the positive change it's made in our family after seeing the change, I mean, it was something that they wanted to do as well. So I think that's great. You can go to places you couldn't, almost couldn't afford before with your RV and invite your family. And so it's a good resource to have mm -hmm. as an RV for the family to hang out together. If you're in St. Augustine or Florida Keys or, <laughs> you know, you'd, then, you'd be surprised how many people are like yeah. scrambling to come see you. Oh, you're going to Colorado, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. That's what we want. We love that part. Um, if you're struggling with this or you're afraid to let your family know you've been thinking about this, just know that sometimes words just aren't enough. We tried to explain what we were doing and yeah, we'd usually get one of two reactions. Either we get, yeah, they're excited, you know, that's that's awesome, I wish I could do that or I'm thinking about doing that or, or we just get sort of a blank stare where you know they want to say, I think you're nuts, <laughs> <laughs> but they don't. They're like, yeah, that's great. In the beginning when we told people, I was actually kind of hesitant to tell people because we were getting, you know, some crazy reactions to, to what we were saying. Um, but then, like, afterwards, now I get excited to tell people. Like, I'm excited about what we're doing, and I think it's great, even if some people don't understand like you said, I think when they see what we're doing, it makes total sense to them and they, they get it more 
when they see the adventure we're having as a family, the time we're spending together as a family versus, you know, the nine to five work week. It doesn't, it doesn't sound so spontaneous anymore to them, I guess. As long as you know you've got a plan, you know what you're doing, and you know it's best for your family, um, sometimes you may just have to show others with your actions more than the words. So these are things we discovered as we let friends and family know about our RV living adventure plan. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got any questions or comments, let us know. And I, just don't let it, don't let the fear hold you back kind of our biggest advice because they will come around hopefully <laughs> hopefully hopefully <laughs>